everybody and welcome to Boxtopus. Today we will be unboxing Pup Box. So I will, uh-oh, be featuring the creature that just knocked into the camera, which is my 13-month-old puppy, Navarre. So grab a tasty beverage and let's get unboxing. If you guys haven't heard of Pup Box, it's similar to Bark Box, but I think, in my opinion, it's even more customized to your pet. And uh, we've been getting this for Navarre, who is now 13 months old, since we first got him at two months. And we have loved it. And I think a common misconception about Pup Box is that it's only for that first year of their life stage, but Pup Box will actually curate boxes for your dog throughout their lifespan. So we decided to renew for another year, and it's $29 a month. So, Navarre, you want a tasty treat? your pup box this is for you and this is what you see when you open it and I can see a big smiling dog face come here for once I'm gonna tell you pause up on the counter <gasps> I know this is all for you oh my gosh it's their Halloween box and there's a photo oh my gosh guys there's a photo contest I know you're so excited and we were talking about oh <gasps> you get a bandana we were talking about dressing him up for Halloween for the trick-or-treaters and oh my gosh we're gonna get to all right, so the first thing in here that he's just freaking out about, and I'll read descriptions later. Oh my gosh, it's a cauldron! It crinkle. He loves crinkly. Don't knock into my tasty beverage now. Oh, you want that, baby boy? Do you want that? Oh, guys, this is so cool. I think this is one of the best toys in Pup Box we've gotten. It's um, it's sturdy for training. He's not a tough chewer. He um, he loves to squeak things and he loves crinkly things but he doesn't chew up his stuffed toys. He only chews up boxes. So I'm gonna cut this tag off too, just so he doesn't swallow it. Okay, so we have this really cool, I really should, cauldron with a creepy, spooky eyeball. I want a toy like this. All right, you want it? You want it? Oh yeah, oh yeah, he likes it. Oh, he likes it. No more likes his book box. Oh, good. All right, so we got that item. Get that out of the way, get him entertained. Let's take another look at this Halloween photo contest. You enter in on Instagram. We'll totally do that. Ooh, and you get two three-month subscriptions if you win. For the first year of the puppy's life, they include training tips and how-tos. And now for this box, it's trick for treats, calling all good ghouls and boys, a few tips for Halloween. And it's how to navigate Halloween, because that can actually be a really scary day for puppies and young dogs because they've never seen people in costumes before. You can hear him crinkling, he likes that. And it has a squeaker, which I didn't realize. But on our, la our last walk, uh, we saw a hanging ghost from a tree that someone had decorated and Navar went, oh my gosh, what is that? And he barked at it and then we went closer and he was like, okay, that's not, that's not alive, it's not a threat. But I can see that how people dressing up would be really scary for a dog. So these are tips on how to acclimate your new puppy or young dog to Halloween. Cool. Next thing, ah, bandana. Now, Navarra is 95 pounds, so he needs the big bandana. And isn't this cute? You like your cauldron. This is your bandana. It's gonna go on you. We are definitely gonna take a photo of it. Do not worry, you will see my dog. But it says, happy Halloween. And look, they have like Frenchies, French Bulldogs, and the Jack-O-Lanterns. That is so cute. I am a sucker for bandanas for dogs. And I never thought I would be until I got him. Oh, he loves his cauldron. I'm sorry, I got it. Oh, you really like that. You're such a good boy. Oh. Wow, he's super into that toy. So that is a big win. It's funny, when he's my first dog as an adult. And when we got him as a puppy, I pretty much bought every puppy toy ever from Chewy because I was desperate to find things that would keep him occupied and not destroying things. And all of the toys I bought him, you know, they were okay to him, but all the toys Pup Box sends, he always loves. Even when I look at them and I go, I don't know if I would really enjoy that. I mean, they're always a hit. Pup Box really knows how to entertain your dog. So next thing here we have, ooh, a roasted beef lung steak. Um, Important to note, if your dog has any food allergies, you can mark that and they will replace the, the normal item. So awesome to know, if your dog has a beef allergy, um, they'll send you a different item instead. 
but I do know Navarre loves beef lung bits. He's never had a whole steak before, so he's gonna be a very lucky dog. Oh, what? Are you seeing more things for you? Oh, do you see more things for you? Oh my goodness. Uh, let's see, we have, what's in here? Emerald Pet Little Duckies. Yummy treats for, hey! Come here, let me give you a treat. Our floors are messed because it was muddy. Ah. Here, Navarre, let's try a treat. These are little duckies. Yummy treats for all good duckies with duck and blueberry. We have so many training treats, it's unbelievable. Oh, these seem, these are crunchy treats. We, he has so many training treats, but he can always use more. Uh, I'm surprised these are called training treats because they are hard. They're crunchy and training treats typically are soft so that the dog swallows them quickly and you can get onto the next cue. Um, but they're only seven calories and he does love duck. So we're gonna try it, because he stole that and I need to take the tag off. He's, no, he's mouthing the treat, he's crunching it up. He much prefers soft treats to crunchy. He doesn't like biscuits or things like that. But this is cute, it's a pumpkin bumpkin velvet dog toy with an awesome squeaker. Clearly he loves it, because he wants it back. All right, you piggy dog. Woo! Oh, and that bounces really, he likes that. All right, so we got the duck treats. He does like these. And he loves the pumpkin. Oh my gosh, the toys are a total win. There's one last item in this pup box. Let's see, it is a crinkle mumbo jumbo plush dog toy. Spells and incantations for the beginner witch. I don't even know if you guys can hear me over the loud squeaking. Spells for making your owner give you treats. Breath of dog, smell of feet. Owner, give your dog a treat. If with this you don't comply, I will lick you in the eye. Boy, is that appropriate, because just a few minutes ago he licked me in the eye and I thought, okay, here comes pink eye. <laughs> but this is cute. It's just a crinkle little spell book. And I have to say, I have to say, I think it's oddly appropriate that it says for the beginner witch, since I am starting to explore Wicca. <laughs> Holy cow. He has, this squeaker is amazing. It's, squeaker toys make all different tone, like tones of squeaking, and some of them really get his attention and others just aren't that cool. But he is in love with that. And that makes me happy, because that means He's not stealing things and destroying them. But I will give him this creakle toy later. And we'll get a last shot. Oh my gosh. But thank you, Pup Box. This box is amazing. <laughs> and we're thrilled to have it. So guys, thank you for tuning in. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel and follow me on Instagram at Boxapus. I posted a lot of pictures of that squeaking dog. So he's very cute. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in. Have a fantastic rest of your day. Cheers.